Hello and welcome to Bar 20 Arms. Alright, we're going to do the ballistic gel test. We got our gel ready to go. Um, we're going to test gel test, excuse me, the uh, 125 Sierra Pro Hunter in the 300 Blackout. This is by request from one of our viewers. Um, but uh, let's get to shooting. I'm going to shoot it, attempt to shoot it dead center. I have it zeroed, it's ready to go. Um, now there's not a lot of statistics out there yet on the uh, on the uh, or the uh, gel test, so I don't really know how far it's going to go. We have two blocks just in case. I anticipate that it's not going to make it through the first block. Um, some of our other calibers go all the way through two blocks. We need three blocks to catch them, but I suspect that the velocity is going and end up being a soft point. It probably won't travel outside the first block here. But I got two back to back just in case. And then we'll come down here and cut them out. Let's get shooting. All right, here we are. Uh, ballistic gel test proved me wrong. Uh, it actually passed through both blocks, um, which is very surprising to me, especially. Um, here's our here's our uh, our bullet. Uh, good expansion as far as that goes. Um, it's not a controlled expansion, but uh, it definitely expanded. Um, it would be very lethal. Um, as you can tell, I got the uh, the main part of the jacket, and then a sharded jacket. Uh, we found that on the table. I'm not sure where it came out at. It may have came out in between um, when the bullet passed through the second block. Um, as you can see, uh, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up, but you can see the trail as it starts, and it stayed pretty much the same level through the first block. Now. The, uh, the trail it left behind stayed consistent as well. Once it passed into the second block, around here, it started to expand. You can tell that the, the, the size of the trail increased dramatically. Um, and then once it came out closer to the end of the block, it was just a huge uh, trail that it was leaving behind. So it had started expanding by then. Kind of a slow start, if you ask me, but, um, but it definitely expanded. Once it uh, started expanding at that point, it started deflecting, and it actually deflected up and exited higher up on the block than where we shot. Um, but anyway, uh, it's good gel test. It did pass through. We actually found the bullet behind um, in our back stop. It was laying in the dirt. Um, so I'm pretty sure that this this expansion was pretty much all gel because uh, it was pretty much it was laying right on the top of the dirt. So it had stopped uh, by the time it hit the dirt. Um, it had no more energy. Um, like I was saying before, you would want to, um, if you're expecting really good groups, I would highly recommend moving to a boat tail. If you have to go up in, uh, in weight, I would recommend it. If you're expecting to shoot hole in a hole groups, you, you're going to have to go to a boat tail. You're just not going to get that kind of groups out of a flat base bullet. Now, as you saw in our other video, our group test, we shot in a one inch group and it might be a you might be able to get a little bit better than that but for an AR with a 16 inch barrel it's pretty good uh, it's hard to beat um, but like I said boat tail I think you'll, you'll like the effects a little better this uh, is a Sierra once again Sierra 125 Pro Hunter um, it's not a bonded bullet it would make a good varmint bullet um, it definitely expands and it would do some damage there's no doubt about it and it would be lethal um, but there you have it, gel test. What was the velocity on that bullet? Oh, the velocity, yes, I'm glad you asked. Um, the velocity was running 2150. Um, now, you know, it's going to differ with each each individual's weapon depending on your setup. But uh, 2150, um, and like I said, I expected it to stop in the first block. So for it to pass through both blocks actually surprised me. Um, so you have enough velocity, um, you have enough expansion, I think it would be a very good varmint bullet. Um, but here at Bar 20 Arms, we're going to stick with a little heavier. We like a little heavier bullet, so we're going to stick with the 165 SBT. And we may do a gel test on it. Come to think of it, we may do a gel test on it and see what it'll do. I would venture to say it would probably stop in the block because it's a lot slower. And uh, I'm going to get another mold, too, in the future, and we'll do three blocks instead of two just to make sure we capture it within the gel. 
But uh, there you have it. Uh, Sierra 125 grain uh, Pro Hunter um, 300 Blackout. I think that about covers everything. Thanks for watching. Come back and see us again soon at Bar 20 Arms.